Uh, my name is Piero Bass. I'm a cinematographer from Italy, but based in New York, and I'm the chair of the cinematography program at New York Film Academy in New York campus. I think Robbie had always an incredible attention to the color, which is interesting because he also loved incredibly black and white, and I feel some of his best movies are actually in black and white, and I feel like uh, he was finding in the black and white uh, even more realistic way to film than with color. I think in talking about Done by Law, he mentioned that luckily the film was in black and white because uh, this way we were able to take away every distracting element and make the audience focus the attention only on the characters and on their stories. We are a good day. Uh, my friends. Benders, which not by chance has been one of the major collaborators with Robbie Mueller, also thought that black and white was more realistic than color when he shoots so Wings of Desire. This must be the station they told me about with the funny name, not the station where the train stopped, but the station where the station stopped. Hey, what is this? No. Wings of Desire, the Road the Trilogy, they're all in black and white because uh, it feels black and white is almost more real than the color. But nonetheless, uh, Robbie, I feel, is a master of color because it's, uh, again, for him, color is not just uh, lighting the space uh, and making sure that you see what the space is, but it's to find the precise color scheme that tells something to the story. So I'm thinking, for example, The American Friend, there is a, a constant presence of red element in the entire film, like the opening sequence. There are many cases where the red uh, is present every time the main character is not alone or is involved with other people, the family in the house, the wife uh, and with the child. There is always this red element here and there. And when he's alone and he has to face his solitude and, and dealing with his choices, which are obviously completely separated from what the family is thinking that he's doing, the red disappears. There's no more red cars, there's no more red colors, there's no more red shirts. Uh, suddenly becomes everything very greenish. There is a run in a tunnel that is done with these uh, natural light that are the light that are really in the tunnel, which is very green. And it comes after a moment where he went through a very emotional revelation. And I feel that color in Robbie was motivated to try to give the idea of the emotional state that the character was living at that moment. And in Paris, Texas, even more. If you look at Paris, Texas, there is a constant scheme that is the color of America, red, white, and blue. It's at the beginning, the red hat that he has, the blue sky, there is uh, the white eagle, then there's the brightness of the desert, and then he arrives home. The home has a red curtain, the wife wear a blue dress with red and white flowers. I mean, there is a constant reference to the color of the American flag and the, the, and the United States, uh, which in some way represent uh, probably the dream, the American dream that Travis renounced, uh, running away and uh, basically wandering around. Now that he's coming back to somehow reclaim it, this color starts to rip up into reality, but then uh, you also have the green, this fluorescent lighting not controlled that he has in the doctor's office uh, that you see when he's with the child and they're going to find the mother and there is the dinosaurs uh, and they are walking next to this building that is flooded by fluorescent lighting and they're very green. The color is not by chance. It feels like very much every single shot was uh, designed to achieve a specific goal. Uh, again, not to light the space, but to deliver an understanding on how the character is uh, feeling in that moment through the color of the space. I feel like very much that uh, there is a direct correlation between the color used in the shot and how the character lives. Oh, 